Good morning, folks. Walapa. How are you doing, man? Welcome to Football Digest Daily on the first Wednesday of 2021. Hmm. Hump day. No, not bad. Not bad. Doesn't look bad, to be honest. Everything is fine. The air is cool. Nah, we can't complain much, to be honest. We can't complain much. Yeah? So football, of course, has been going on. And I'm, all, I'm always here about football. Nothing more, nothing less. So let's check what has been popping since Monday. Now, Monday, we had uh, Liverpool taking on Southampton at St. Mary Stadium. Uh, and uh, like I said, I was banking a lot on uh, someone called Mo Salah to do something there to save my FPL um, uh, the game because it was terrible. He didn't do shit. In fact, Liverpool lost that game 1-0. And uh, yeah, just like that, if Man United wins their game in hand, which is against Burnley, then they will go top of the Premier League table. I can't remember the last time I said Man United are top of the Premier League standings. Anywhere. It's a long time ago. It's a long time ago. But yeah, it is what it is, man. Yeah, if United win their game in hand, they go top. top not even joint top. They will be clearly above Liverpool with two points, I think, if I'm not wrong. So, yo, it's crazy. It's crazy. This season, man, it's that game was just the epitome of this season. Crazy. You cannot predict anything. You cannot guarantee anything this season. You cannot guarantee anything. And how crazy is it that uh, their former player or a guy who used to play for them in earlier years, that is Danny Ying, so the one, was the one who condemned them, to, condemned them, Jesus, to that loss. Crazy, right? Yeah, but it is what it is. It is what it is. And then uh, yesterday we had, um, what do you call it? We had the Carabao Cup, which I actually I said this week I could have games on Monday. That was incorrect. Could have won two games. One was played yesterday, Brentford versus uh, Tottenham. Uh, Carabao Cup semi-final. And this time around by this, Natchez were one leg. Yeah. Uh, normally, Carabao Cup semis, you were two legs. But this one, I think, touches were one leg. So uh, Brentford yesterday lost 2-0 to Tottenham, courtesy of Musa Sissoko and uh Huming Son. Fantastic goals by the Kwanza you are Soko. Ah your cross il kwa hatari. Ah Tari Sana. I know one Spurs fan who's going uh, who's most probably over the moon right now and I to uh Robert, if I'm not wrong. Yeah I'm, I'm sure he's super excited about that. Finally they win something. They will win something. They will win a cup in, in like forever now. Must be like a decade since they last won any cup that matters. Yeah, so they are through to the finals. Today is when you have the mega clash. Yeah, Manchester United hosting Manchester City for the second semi final. Don't forget, these guys met exactly the same way last season. In the Carabao Cup semis, it was Manchester United taking on Manchester City, of which Manchester City sailed through. They always win that cup. They have won it in the last, is it three or four years? It's crazy. So, Man United was knocked out last season by Manchester City in the same stage. Yeah, that's one of the three semis in Yualifika last season. So, maybe they're going to do something different today. We don't know. One thing we know for sure, though, is Ole is in need of a cup. And if Carabao Cup is a cup he can take, oh, he, he's going to go for it. He's going to take it. And he's going to take it with both hands and he's going to be proud. So, yo, Inge Pichakwakali, man. United have been having a resurgence in the Premier League. They've been doing really well. Uh, they did not lose to Manchester City the last time they met around up on Jamhuri Day. Yeah, so they're going to be meeting again today at Old Trafford to town Itakuaje. Don't forget, City also have some guys who are missing out. Yeah, I think those guys are still missing out because of COVID. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see the lineup they'll put out. But nevertheless, point in your game Itakua Kali. Ah, yo, 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 I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. Um, another thing that, that have happened this week is the unveiling of Pochettino. Now, we know he was appointed by PSG, but I think he did his first presser. Is it yesterday? Yeah, he did his first presser this week. So, of course, we know Pochettino and PSG, they have sort of a tie. He used to play there sometimes. Uh, some years ago, they played, uh, or he played alongside Mikel Ateta and alongside uh, Ronaldinho. So, yeah. We're going to be seeing who's going to be turning the tides and fortunes for PSG. Of course, PSG to Najwanga to attack a Champions League. Nothing much. Nothing much. Just win the PSG. Just, just give PSG a Champions League trophy. And they will worship you and they will be... They will do anything for you. Okay? They have done so many things for coaches who have not delivered. So, yeah. Actually, when a couple of children to deliver what others have failed to do. Alright? So, that has been interesting to say the least. And uh, most likely, we're going to be seeing some super transfers. If not this January window in the summer for PSG, I'm sure Atanua is so a biggie. Of course, uh, 
number one agenda for them has to be to keep Neymar and Mbappe. Because regardless of who you sign, if you don't keep those two, those are some of the biggest players in the world right now. So you have to keep them. So you're going to be seeing if they're going to, if they're going to be keeping them. I'm out of Chilea. And if they do, what I let Anani instead. I have a feeling we're going to make a big signing in the summer. So we'll tell. January transfer window is open fully, 100%. And the rumors have been flying in and coming in thick and fast, yeah? And let me start off with Arsenal because I think you need to make headlines lately. Yeah, because we've got so much they do to take care of. Uh, one guy called Kolasinak, uh, definitely, this is not news now. He left for Schalke 04. Uh, he's going to be joining them on loan. I hope they'll turn it to a permanent deal over the summer. So he's off. Uh, one guy who's also been linked to the move away is Socrates Papastatopoulos. He's going to be leaving uh, Arsenal. He's been linked now with two clubs. He's been linked with Genoa in Syria. And he's been linked with Fanabache in Turkey. And uh, I have a feeling he's going to leave before this window closes. He's going to leave. Another guy who's going to most likely be leaving is Mustafi. He has also been linked to the move to Genoa, which he has gladly denied. Yeah, but I hope he's going to be leaving this transfer window. He seems like a guy Arsenal wants to get rid of, and I'm very supportive of that. I cannot support that more. Another guy who might be leaving this window, who have been wanted to take off our wage bill for so long, is Mesut Ozil. Now he's being linked with a move to DC United. Apparently, they are in advanced negotiations with DC United. And when on America, you could too for Mesut Ozil. You know, it's a brand, business, ni 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 ni. Esports tournament, uh, tengeneza ta esports team. Ah, aki tengeneza US, ita flourish. Yeah, you see Wongo, US ni play sports sana kwa brands ka Ozil. So, most likely, maybe he's going to be leaving to DC United, but he's also been linked to the move to Fanabache again. And he also made even a picture on Instagram uh, where he was in Istanbul talking about, uh, okay, caption ilikuwa this city, and he gave the love heart and, and shared. Vituka is in sometimes they can throw you off. You know, you don't know for sure if he's in love with Istanbul because he's going to be going back there or he's just throwing us off, you know. But yeah, most likely Mesut Ozil will leave in this January transfer window. And how good is that going to be, man? It's going to be dope. You know, I was actually doing maths. If we get rid of Ozil, Kolasinak, and what do you call this other guy? And uh, Socrates. Those three guys, Ukiwatoa. For the six months they'll be away, I hope you're not going to be paying like joint wages. I hope kila mtu atabeba mzigo yake. If you don't pay joint wages, those guys will relieve us 21 million pounds worth of wages 21 million worth of wages three guys three guys that's how crazy it's been at arsenal but yeah we're gonna be waiting to see if he's gonna be leaving but i hope he does ozil kolasinak and socrates might be leaving and mustafi another guy who's been linked to the move away is actually edin ketia apparently uh wolves are kind of thinking of getting him and i would i would i would not oppose that you know if they gave us like a cool 25 30 m for eddie ah what you could eddie Watch Kwedi. Of course, we're still interested in Buendia. We're going to be seeing a lot of linkages with us, uh, with, with him over the next couple of days. I hope we go get him. I honestly hope we go get him because he's a guy who's going to come through for us a big, big way. All right. Another guy who's been linked with a move away from London, but this time not from Arsenal, is from West London. That is Chelsea. Olivier Giroud. Apparently, he's being linked to the move away from, uh, from Chelsea. He might be leaving. He might be going to... Uh, he's been linked, actually, with Juventus and AC Milan. So, maybe he's, he might be moving to Italy. But again, if the transfer windows, only time tells. You can never say for sure. But I was looking at Giroud, and he's the highest top scorer. He's the highest scorer for Chelsea in all competitions since January 1st last year. No one has scored more goals for Chelsea than him. So, if they lose it in this January... And they have guys like Timo Vano who are not firing. Kai Havertz who are not coming through. Tammy Abraham who kidogo anafunga, kidogo not so much. Ah, what a quaint shit. What a quaint shit, man. They will be in shit. They will be in shit. So, uh, at maybe Giroud might not be. Maybe he will not leave Chelsea. But of course, he's, he needs more game time. That's for sure. Uh, another guy who's been linked to the move away from his club right now is Igalo. Odion Igalo might be leaving Manchester United. Uh, he's been uh, inquired about by two clubs in Askias Zuku Toka Qatar in Saudi Arabia. There's also clubs, two clubs from England who have actually asked for his, uh, for his uh, services. And yeah, we're going to be seeing Manchester United are going to let him go in this January transfer window. Maybe not likely, but for sure he's going to be leaving in the summer. If he's not January window, definitely he's leaving in the summer. So yeah, those are some of the transfer news that are causing headlines and making headlines. Another one that I forgot is David Alaba. He's been linked to the move away from... Uh, 
uh, uh, Bavarians or Bayern Munich is going to actually be leaving for free on a free transfer and he is actually apparently interested in going to Real Madrid who also want him and also Liverpool are also interested in uh, getting his services so that's going to be a good one so it's going to be a good signing for whoever gets him all right so those are the transfer news that's all i had to digest for you guys today uh don't forget today we have the big clash between manchester united and manchester city for the carabao cup semi-final whoever wins here is going to be meeting uh tottenham in the final at wembley on uh, somewhere around up or maybe end of feb early march around Apple. So you're going to be seeing who exactly is that is going to be going to join the Spazzy team, yeah, Mourinho. Yeah? That's all for now, folks. Have a fantastic Wednesday. God bless. And as always, don't forget to take care. And if you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe.